Hey everyone, welcome back to The Real McNeils. We haven't vlogged in a long time, so I kind of wanted to catch some of the things that are going on. As you can see, Addie's finishing her breakfast off. Tiggy is headed into homeschool today. This is a Friday, so it's not a typical day. The kids have been sick this week. Caden just went back to school after missing like three days. And so it is just kind of a catch it up sort of day. <laughs> Try to keep things going. Trying to catch up on baking. So I've got these two rustic sourdough loaves done. I've got more in the oven. I need to make regular bread because we're out of that. I try to keep Fridays really relaxed, but this Friday is definitely a catch up on everything that I missed all during the week type of Friday. The other thing that I need to show you is that winter hit. We got winter super early this year. It has been cold outside, not just cold, but this. Snow and lots of it. That snow on our table is over a foot deep. The drifts are deep. We did get the furniture all covered up, the trailer all covered up, but winter has hit with a vengeance while we still have a bunch of leaves on the trees. It's a lot earlier than I would prefer because we know that it will definitely be winter through November, December, January, February sometimes March too. So we have a good four or five months ahead of us of this yucky cold weather furnace turned up trying to keep us warm. We never did get to the point of dealing with the fact that the girls' bedrooms are quite cold. And so we still need to look into that because Bailey's bedroom is really cold and Tegan and Addison's bedrooms are also really cold. And it's really hard when it gets cold here to wake up to a freezing cold bedroom. It's like our furnace just can't quite blow the air all the way there. By the time it gets there, there's barely any air and that air is not very warm, definitely not warm enough to heat their rooms. And that's a concern because we haven't got as cold as it's going to get. We are at the beginning of November and we are going to have four or five days where it's minus 14, minus 15, and then it will come back up a little bit to minus five for the duration of the two weeks. And that's really gross. <laughs> that's really early for us. How are you feeling today? Good. You ready to do school? You ready for the weekend? Mm -hmm. You ready for movie night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to it. What you working on? Uh, adding decimals. We've got pumpkins slowly dying out. Gotta get those off the piano before they rot and cause damage. Even the cat's not very interested in life because <laughs> it's just too cold outside. Winter bins sitting in the entryway because we need to go through, swap out all of our summer stuff for winter stuff. And I just haven't got around to it. So we've just kind of been plucking stuff out as we needed, except for the fact that I can't find my winter jacket. Girls are headed off to Costco with Clancy. Tomorrow is Kieran's birthday and we need a couple of things to celebrate. He wants eggs benedict and French toast for his birthday dinner. We don't know if we're doing brunch or dinner at this point. So Clancy's running to grab a few of those things. Hopefully I have everything on the list. I managed to get the girls through school. We are all done with that now. I also managed to get my other sourdough loaves out. Okay, these are the best. These are sourdough sandwich bread and they're not too sourdough if you're not a huge fan of sourdough. So, so good. These are much more sour. These are much milder. And I still need to make regular bread, but I also need to get dressed and <laughs> move on with my day. So maybe I'll whip up bread and then I'm gonna run off and shower while these guys are gone. We're gonna pretend that baking bread is that simple, so now I just let it run until it pops out in loaf pans. Who am I kidding? <laughs> That's four loaves of bread. I've recently started actually making two batches. My mixer can only handle one at a time, so you have to time it perfectly because I keep timing it completely wrong, and I need loaf pans before bread dough is ready to be put into loaf pans, and it's actually quite an ordeal. You know, I could probably just buy more loaf pans, but I don't really want eight loaf pans floating around, so, 
I do it with four, and then in a couple of hours, I will start a second batch. <laughs> so, but if I do that, I can usually buy myself about 10, 11 days before I need to do it again. This is just kind of one of my routine things. I like making our bread. I like knowing what's in it. I'm still thinking about going into grinding my own grains. And so if you have any tips on that, if you guys have done that, let me know. I would love to know more about it. I'm tired of all of the additives that are in flour and I can have more control over that if I grind my own grains. But I just kind of need to decide if I'm ready to actually take that step. My mixer's saying no, not today. This dough is a little stiffer than I usually make it. But if I add water now, it's gonna just make a hot mess. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. I didn't manage to catch everything else that I did today. The shoveling of the driveway, whoo, slippery. The shoveling of the backyard, the vacuuming, all of those things. It just got way too busy. Mostly shoveled. Hopefully I can thaw off over the next couple of days. The girls went off to play with their friends. They went sledding and we haven't seen them since, but they're getting fresh air and exercise, which once, let's be honest, once it hits about minus 15, and above it's really hard to get outside so because winter is starting so early this year we have to push to get outside on these nicer days <laughs> even though there's snow and it's cold and all that ooey's but whatever life in cold climates next task is going to be swapping out summer clothes for winter clothes <laughs> Mostly done. The girls are sopping wet because of sledding. The snow is so wet today, so everything's drying out. We have to be missing a bin or something because we're missing a pair of Tiggy's boots. We're missing her toque. We're missing my jacket. So I did a quick peek, can't find it, but at least for the most part, this is done. We have a big bag of swim stuff up there and I need to find a different location for it because it's not working there. It just takes up way too much space. Plus there is another bin up there that if it wasn't there, everything would be a lot easier in that closet. Apparently this house was built for like four people, not eight. It is Kieran's birthday. I didn't finish off yesterday. Tiggy and Addie, Kaden, they all decorated ooh, the curtain I, of I did the, streamers. I did the streamers. And through here, we have two girls trying to find stuff to go skating because we can go skating for the first time on so Monday. On Monday? <laughs> Monday. These are the bins I went through yesterday. One of these, okay. One of these is a grow into bin for Addie. The other one is the winter stuff that we were missing. So hopefully there's a toque in there. Yay, look at, oh there is the missing toque. Mom's missing toque. Finally managed to get everything sorted down there. Just waiting to tuck Addie into bed. We celebrated Kieran's birthday. Didn't really capture it because he was in and out all day. I guess that's the thing about having a 19 year old who has a life. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because tomorrow's Sunday. We're gonna take a day of rest. And I thank you so much for watching and we'll see y'all soon.